am back. I'm a little sad though because I broke my nail today. I mean, it brought me to tears. But anyway, I'm going on a trip. I am going to LA. I am going to LA. What am I going to LA for? I'm going to see Jill Scott at the Hollywood Bowl. And I could not be more excited. My cousin invited me and I'm looking forward to it. So of course, I'm gonna let you know what I'm bringing, what's coming along, and I'd love to hear from you if you think that I'm making any mistakes. Will I listen to those suggestions? Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so, first things first, our luggage. Okay, I have been working on myself. And one of those things that I've been working on has been to stop overpacking. You know that I love clothes. You know that I love cosmetics. You know that I love shoes. But the truth is, it makes no sense for me to overpack all the time. And I don't use anything, so I'm just trying to be more efficient when I pack. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna share with you my new theory, my new way of traveling, especially for a long trip. I, I, I did extend this trip, but I'll be there for a week. Don't laugh at this. It's not funny. I did extend it to a week. It was originally just a weekend, but I extended because I have the time and I can work while I'm there, so it's perfect. But I'm still going to do a carry-on, and I know a week sounds like a long time, but I'm going to LA and, like, I can repeat outfits. I'm not going anywhere that special where I need, like, something that can't be repeated I'm gonna repeat a lot but I'm gonna switch it up you know what I'm saying how's my hair I did my hair yesterday wash and go you know the deal there's some humidity so it did poof up but it's kind of nice Zara earrings do we love I dressed up for you a lip and everything <laughs> okay so what was it last year or this year where I purchased a new carry-on suitcase because I was feeling like everyone likes to use these hard shell cases but when you really think about it you're limited with a hard case aren't you like I wanted something that was flexible and I went to Bloomingdale's because they were having a sale and I really went to get um, a Tumi carry-on case with the matching little uh, handbag, but it was really pricey. And here's the thing, I was gonna buy it. I was gonna just invest in it so that I can use for years to come, but I came across another brand. Let me see if you can see. This brand is called Brick. Brick or Bricks? Bricks. I really love this bag. It was giving the same vibe to me as to me. I did a side by side, excuse me, excuse me. I did a side by side with to me and this actually gave a lot more room. Now the, I think it's the to me Voyager is what I was planning on buying. And it does have that soft shell as well, but this still was bigger. Now. I also picked up the matching duffel carry-on thingy that goes on top of the suitcase, which is really, really cute. With the discount, and you know, I have a way with words. I was able to convince the saleswoman to give me an extra percentage off. Anyway, with the discount, I paid less for both pieces than I would have for the one carry-on to me case that was smaller so it doesn't always have to be to me but this does the trick so I'm bringing this as well and I think that I want to start with toiletries 
This is that pouch from eBay. It's a Net-A-Porter uh, toiletry pouch that wasn't on the Net-A-Porter site, but I found it on eBay for like 20 bucks, so I bought two of them, and I will travel with this always. What's in here? So we obviously want to bring stuff like our face wash. This is the face wash that I use every day that I cleanse my face with. It's the CeraVe Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. These little exfoliating pads, just to give a little more to my cleansing process. Plain is 3.8 ounces. It's my degree deodorant. It's the Dry Spray Sexy Intrigue, okay? Body wash. I do not shower without using Dr. Bronner's Peppermint Castile Soap. If you're not using TheraBreath, TheraBreath for your mouthwash, don't open your mouth. Face wipes, I'm gonna add some more because I use a lot of these, but I've told you guys a million times, I buy my face wipes from Costco. A little Eucerin cream. I've been using Eucerin. Okay, now I'm letting my secrets out. When I do my nighttime routine, I'll use like some tretinoin, which is in here again. And this is the moisturizer I use on my face. It's Eucerin. And it's really the body cream, I know. But like, who cares? It's so moisturizing. And when I wake up in the morning, I look 12. Have you guys used the Trader Joe's sunscreen? The bomb. I'm also using the Black Girl sunscreen. I don't have it in front of me, but I'm bringing that. I use the Black Girl sunscreen every single day of my life. All time favorite body cream, Joe Malone, Wood Sage, and Sea Salt. I found this little baby bottle for travel. Isn't that cute? I'm also bringing a mini version of the cloth. I could spray this a hundred times a day. It's really light, so you can overdo it and you know you won't be overdoing it, if that makes sense. You could overdo it, but it's not overdoing it. You know what? Speaking of toothbrushes, I have an electric tooth toothbrush. Excuse me. I have an electric toothbrush and I have traveled with it a million times, but I don't like my electric toothbrush. I know it's better, but I like to get in there and really scrub, right? And so my favorite toothbrush for that is by Reach. The reason being is Reach is really the only brand that I found that has firm toothbrushes. I don't like soft toothbrush bristles. I don't like medium level toothbrush bristles. I like firm. Reach does it. And it has a little ton tongue scraper on the back, although I do use a separate tongue scraper. All of these things are in my Amazon storefront, which if I remember, because I'm new to YouTube, so I don't even remember anything ever, but if I do remember, I'll link it below, and you can go to my storefront and you'll see the cleansers, you'll see, you know what I'm saying, the deodorant, you'll see the toothbrush, and you will see the tongue scrapers. <laughs> I mean, this is cute. Look. Am I organized or what? So I have like the Chlorofresh pills, which is supposed to be like an internal deodorant. I have a prenatal vitamin, cinnamon pills to keep my sugar at bay, hair pills, tons of Advil, and Dramamine. Because all I need to do is sit in a car and I'll feel like passing out. So those are some of the stuff I'm bringing. All right, so what am I wearing to the airport? Let me take my slippers off, cause, ooh, not me showing my, okay. So I'm probably gonna do a sweatsuit because I have to be super duper comfortable. And I have this lovely green sweatsuit. This is the crew neck with the sweatpants, as you can see. So I love to wear crew necks as sweats. But I do have a zip-up hoodie as well in this green. 
And I might bring that because when I'm on the plane, I like to wear a hoodie sometimes. Like, you know, depending on if it's cold. I don't know. I'll make that decision at the last minute. With my sweatsuit, I'll likely bring these. So these are my lovely new New Balance that my darling David bought for me. And they're the Ami Leon Dor. Is that how you say it? Is it Ami or Amy? It's somebody's child, Leon Dor. Collab. And I absolutely love them. I think David's, he's got them in blue. I have them in red. Red was a color that I didn't have. That's why I chose red. But they are so comfortable and they're really cute. Not me not knowing how to do a YouTube. Okay, let's just have some. You guys have seen me wear this blazer a million times. It's the one from the Frankie shop. It's very, very oversized. But that's why I love it. Because I can belt it. Or I could just do this through it. Put it on I could put like hair ties on the sleeves and scrunch them up you know now you tell me I'm going to a concert but it's gonna be at the Hollywood Bowl so like I kind of want to wear a long dress and just put on like sneakers with it so I have this beautiful olive green long dress it even looks nice if I belt it, but it's comfortable, which is what I want to be. And I think that if I put them on with sneakers, honestly, if I just even throw these back on, who cares? As usual, I mean, there should be no surprise. <laughs> I'm bringing my uniform because there's not a place that I travel that I don't bring this set. Everyone loves this little pajama set that I wear. I wear it all the time. Did you guys see my Instagram? See, the thing is, if you're not following me on Instagram, you're not really going to get the looks. Because YouTube, you know I'm new to this. Who knows if I'm going to continue with it. Like, it takes a lot more work. But on Instagram, I hit you with something every day. And if you were on last week, you would have saw that I wore this beautiful Tibby skirt. I mean, the color is not something that I normally wear. That's why I got it, right? But the funny thing about this skirt is when I first tried it on, I put the skirt on and then slipped my hand into the pocket here, right? I spent like 30 minutes trying to figure out why there was no pocket on. I contacted Amy. Amy is like the founder. I sent her a DM. I said, ma'am, I think there's a mistake on the skirt that I got. Because, you know, this was final sale. When they have sales, it's final. But... If it's a mistake, I want you to give me my money back. Only has one pocket, so that's a look. So thank God I lost the finger on the left. You see what I'm saying? Because the left can stay in the pocket, and then the right hand can do all of this all night. So I was thinking, you know, I like to be casual. So although the skirt is, it can be fancy, you know, depending on how you wear it. I'm going to throw a t-shirt on, and I'm going to throw my favorite dusty, crusty $3 Pizza Planet favorite shirt and I don't care and the only thing that I regret I'm so dumb like it was three dollars I should have bought fucking at least five of them I bought one so I only have this one but I cherish it and I'm gonna wear it and I just got my lipstick on it <sighs> so annoying I want to talk about something very special Okay, I posted on my Instagram. You see what I'm saying? Instagram. Follow me, right? I asked a question. I said I may or may not have purchased a certain pair of shoes. And most of you guys said yes, I did purchase them. Obviously, the ones that said no don't know me. Because if it's a shoe that I love, I'm gonna get it. I throw it on with the 
red skirt, I'm fabulous. Even when I throw it on with a dress, I'm fabulous. Even when I add another skirt, which I probably will, and throw this in, I'm fabulous. I can throw on a pair of jeans, I'm fabulous. These are fabulous. Okay, so those were just a couple of things. I probably need more, right? I mean, I'll definitely need some other shoes. Okay, I'm back. Bags. I'm not bringing every bag, okay? I really only want to bring two bags. Okay, so, okay, wait. So, I think I'm just gonna bring two bags because what else do I need? Like, I think this is a great option because it's crossbody. This little Chanel wallet on the chain. I don't have to hold it in my hand, but I also can hold it in my hand. If I want, I'll just put the chain back in, close it, and then it becomes a clutch. But I also have my little mini Jody, which I can only hold this way or like, kind of like that. Um, no, I think I'm gonna bring this too because the last time I was in LA, I wore this every single day. I mean, it's just so good. And then the third option was this vintage Chanel. To be honest with you, okay. I thought about possibly bringing my Chanel dad sandals and because they're so comfortable, these match with this, but I, I'm not always matchy matchy. It doesn't even matter. So in the comments, this is cool because I never did this before. This is, you know how YouTubers, they say comment below. This is where you're gonna comment below. Please just tell me, no biggie. Which one, which two should I bring? I'll bring these little cute, the row flats because they're just easy and comfortable. I'm not bringing heels, like this is high as we're going and I'm okay with that. So I'm also gonna bring this skirt. This is a skirt that I bought from Zara. It goes with everything. It's like that satiny material. It's lightweight. It's gonna take up no room in my luggage. And then guess what? If I really get cold, like I'm gonna wear this with that pizza t-shirt because who cares? Like it's about being comfortable and casual. But let's say it's cold. You know that? sweatshirt I wore to the airport. I'm gonna throw this right on top. With the Gucci slingbacks. This is a look. You don't even know. Like you could get a cheap sweatshirt, even a cheap skirt, put it on with a fly shoe. This is a look. Throw a lip on. And last but not least, I'm gonna bring an additional sweat set. But this is shorts okay so imagine so the reason why i'm gonna bring this is because where i'm staying you know in la it's a little chilly in the morning take a walk and look if i'm taking a walk i don't need three pairs of sneakers four pairs of sneakers if i'm going for a walk in the morning these are walking sneakers but they're also stylish so i'm gonna wear them duh i'm gonna bring this little set this is costume jewelry, it is nothing fancy, but what of like a choker and then see, see, with the little matching earrings. How cute is that? Or not. I'll just have it with me and that's it, that's it. That's really it. I'm not bringing a lot of stuff, I don't need it. I have enough that I can mix and match. Outside of what I showed you, all I need to bring is like underwear, Spanx, because you know once I wear those dresses and those skirts, I need something to hold it all together. Bras, I think I covered all my bases. Again, if you want to see makeup, I'll show you in a different video. And that's it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if I should bring anything else, you know? Let me know if I did a good job. Tell me something, <laughs> you know? Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do I wanna show you how I pack? I don't know, maybe, but thank you. Okay guys, where are you? Where are you? Hey, hi. I like to pack flat. So watch, 